Let's have some uh, measurements and first we're going to try the voltages. That's why I'm going to have the oscilloscope on DC over here, like this. And let's have the probe on 1x and here the same. Yes, and let's see the first candidate over here. It's a 9 volts battery. I'm not sure it's still 9 volts, but it's around there. So we have like 7.61 volts. Let's see the voltmeter, 8.2, and this one says 7.6, 7.61. It's a little bit lower than it should. So we have like 94%, it's like 6% the manual is saying. So the voltage should have a tolerance of plus minus 2%. But it doesn't say voltages, it's saying measurement accuracy. I'm going to try the alligator clips for testing DC. See you later, alligator. Same story, 7.6. I'm not sure what's the limit here. I had another mini oscilloscope that was a KK Moon 120M and that one was clearly in 10% limits. Okay, here is a pack of lithium polymer battery a 3s so that should be around let's see 12 volts 11.4 in fact 11.6 divided by 12 0 96 so it's like four percent different that's pretty good so these are measurements with dc so this is my arduino uno it's very clear on we should have 5 volts over here. Let's see if we have it. Minus ground, 5.1 volts. Perfect, 5.1 over there. The probe, 1x DC, ground, 4.6, 4.52. Yeah, it's in the same uh, league, I may say. It's like uh, a difference in between. But anyway, it's pretty close. If you have this in mind, that should be okay. With this board, I should have two voltages here, a five volts and a 3.3. Let's see about, so that's the ground. Four, 46, 2.8 volts. Let's see all these measurements. Let's check for the max. So we have a max of 4.8 and here maximum 3.2 and that's very interesting but I'll take mean 2.1 I mean I think it's the average let me see the, the book average right so mean the first one up here mean that means average so that's what we are looking for once again average 4.46 and this one, 2.81 volts. So it's a clear difference between the, the voltages by the vometer. Now, let me have some frequency test. And I'm gonna use the Uno. The probe goes on 10X. Let me have a ground here somewhere. Okay, so we have a clear ground over there. And now let me see the oscillator here. This is a 16 megahertz crystal. We put it on auto. And there we are. AC, of course. Beautiful. 16 megahertz. And it's going very nice. And we have a peak to peak 23.9 you see over here we have the frequency pretty stable 15.9 16 that's really nice okay so the probe should be on 10x and the machine too so we have a 200 millivolts over here and we have like rms 237 millivolts and peak to peak is 672 millivolts. 
I may say it's working okay. And it's reading very nice, 16 megahertz. We can even go farther. So, I have this one and I have a whole sinusoid with the last 5 nanoseconds and I may say that it can go really nice to double. I don't have anything higher than uh, 16 uh, megahertz. Okay, so now let's use this one like a generator. Okay, let's have 1 kilohertz right here. That's it, the one. Oh, look there, it's perfect square, that's nice. Let's go a little bit higher. 200, so this is uh, 2500, 10 kilohertz, auto, nice. 25, 100, perfect, square. 250 we start having a kind of degradation here of the wave but this is normal 1 megahertz square wave this is difficult to visualize anyway and we have maximum 2 megahertz look up the frequency over there the voltage it's uh, pretty steady so we have a peak to peak of 488. Let's see lower frequencies. Five volts, five. And that's nice. I mean the voltage at two kilohertz, two megahertz, I'm sorry. It's still pretty steady and in the limits. This is at 10. Okay, we had, that's one hertz. And this is at 10 hertz here. Let's see. It, well, it's really hard to find, but look there. It got it. 5.33 volts. Nice. 50 shouldn't be a problem. What I can say for now, I'm really satisfied with this little oscilloscope. It's working great until after my opinion, until uh, maybe 30 megahertz or something. So this will be great for audio. I have a quartz here. That should be around, I think it's 12 megahertz or something. Let me see if I can make it work. I need a power supply. Yeah, it's working. Can we measure this? What do you think? Ground. Where is the ground? 5 volts, 3.3. .3. Maybe this one is the ground here. Oh, yes. The probe should be on 10. The oscilloscope is on 10 too. Look there. So we have 54 hertz. Huh? What's this? Oh, yes. Look there. 11.9 megahertz. From the crystal well it's not perfect but at least I can say that it's working nice 12 megahertz it's not perfect but it's working and now let's try that image saving and reference okay so we have this one now stay there what, what's happening here? Jumping all around. Okay, we save. We save the photo. We save the screen. And it's saved. And now, you remember the first one? And look there. So we got the reference. The first one. And we can. We can go like this and have a idea about changings. 
Okay, so that's the story about having a reference picture in. Interesting. Save and reference. That's nice. So let's have a pulse with modulation. Let's see how it's acting. And I have these two little probes. Okay. Ground and signal. Probe at 10x and the meter 2. The okay, no more reference, nothing. Okay, auto. And there we are. Let's get into the middle. Voltage down. Oh, it's such a beautiful. So we are at 10% now, going down to zero. Okay, then we go up, 11%, 24, come on down, baby, 52. They seem. And here we are at 95% duty cycle. Let's see what it's saying about the duty cycle. Duty. You see, so we have a 73% there and here we have a 60 or 7 now we have 63% over here and here we have the same, 63.2. So it's measuring the duty cycle very nice. The frequency is 7.8 kilohertz. Okay. And we have a LMS voltage of 2.4 volts. Very nice. Okay, so now let's have a single and let's see how we, what we can catch when this one starts measuring something. Look there, what a nice and interesting pitch. So we have 11.23 mega ohms. You see, that is the beginning of the measurement. Okay, stop, no more single. That's it for part two about measuring uh, squares and sine waves. And part three will be about a dismantle, teardown, and looking inside this little oscilloscope, we'll see the parts, we'll see the chips inside there and uh, we'll talk about that. Check for part 3 in the link up there.